I know a lot of my videos lately have been on the COPA issue, but I want to talk about what YouTube has brought for me, and not just full-on be mopey, dopey, just all-around boring and all that. I kind of want to show that this community has actually helped me, and I want to thank you guys all. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was at a very dark place, and I was hurt, people abandoned me for having lupus, and you know how heartbreaking it is for people to say they're your friend and say they're gonna be with you to the very bitter end, and then all out of nowhere just don't want to have anything to do with you? It's just, it's sad. So when I started this channel, it was a way to escape from all the darkness that had been going on in my life. And the thing is, is like, I didn't need YouTube to be my escape. I actually found it to be my saving grace because you guys have been there for me. Not just the people who have been watching my channel, but the people who have actually been, you know, helping me <laughs> throughout all of this. I mean, I have met so many wonderful content creators who have been so supportive and have been like, Maria, don't get so down, you can do this. You don't have to worry, people are gonna be negative no matter what. And there are times where, despite being so nice to people online, I get so down because I feel like I'm being personally attacked. And I get that a lot, actually. And you would be shocked how many people have harassed me in the past, despite the fact that I don't really try to pick fights. I'm not a confrontational person, but people just are like that. So, <laughs> I'm trying not to get too emotional, but I feel it. So, I'm gonna say thank you to some of those content creators who did really motivate me into doing more. So, the first one that I want to thank, I would have to say is Veggie Gamer. Veggie Gamer was super duper sweet to me. He was one of the sweetest guys, and despite him having struggles of his own, he was always <laughs> being so uplifting. Despite having, you know, I mean, I know he was a little insecure about his own channel, and he's, you know, he's always been so sweet, though, no matter what. He's such a fun, goofy guy, and, like, I don't know why he even feels down about himself half the time, because he's amazing. But then, like, I guess not a lot of us can't see the good inside of us, and that's just a natural reaction, I mean... People tell me I'm nice all the time, and I'm just like, I'm not that nice. <laughs> and it makes me uncomfortable, but also kind of happy that people appreciate me. So, the next person I want to thank would have to be Jackie from Nerdy Crafter. Jackie and me have been talking on and off on Twitter, and she's been so incredibly supportive. And the thing is, is like, me and her bonded a little. I mean, not like best friends or anything, but like, there we share a lot of things in common. We both like crafts, we both like, <laughs> like anime and video games, and sh overall, she's been such a delight. Plus, she has an autoimmune condition just like me, so she kind of gets the struggles I go through. So I really do appreciate that she takes at least a little bit of time out of her day to, you know, listen to me and talk to me on Twitter. I mean, I love it. The next person I want to thank is somebody she probably doesn't even remember speaking to me, which would be Gloom. Gloom from, like, back at the time, I guess her name, like, I, I don't know, maybe, I don't even remember this, but I remember her calling her channel Gloom Games. But yeah, like, originally when I started watching her, it was for gaming content. Now she mixes it up a little bit, but like, a while ago, Gloom was super nice to me when I was like, incredibly messed up. I was having anxiety issues. I was just like overall just crying all the time, going through so much hell. And Gloom was there for me. She was so sweet to me. And I mean, the, she herself has been such a delight. Every single time I spoke to her, she was always being the most big beacon of light and sunshine. I mean, she was so good to me, even when I was going through craziness. Uh, and I guess the last person that I want to thank for basically helping me out 
that are these are just the bigger YouTubers that helped me out. Um, but yeah, the one of them would have to be Base Shaman. Base Shaman and me have talked on and off through DMs and <laughs> on Twitter, and me and him. I mean, I, I he is such an amazing person. People think that that's a facade, that he just pretends to be like that, but he literally is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. He is so understanding towards things, and if you ever need advice for anything, he's literally there to open up his arms and try to speak with you. So those people overall have been so amazing to me, and <laughs> I'm trying not to cry, because like, it's like people in my personal life they didn't even really care so much about me, but these people I barely knew were so nice to me. And <laughs> they truly do deserve the love and appreciation that they get. Along with which, the last people I want to talk about, which aren't big YouTubers, but they are my friends. A lot of the girls on the Sims community, they have been so good to me, and... <laughs> I just, I worry, you know? If any of this stuff does go through, it isn't just gonna affect me, because I wouldn't care if I had to put my ki videos as kids' videos, it, but it would affect them. And that hurts me more than any sort of thing, because they've been so good to me, and I, I, can't, I can't possibly see anything bad happening to them. I mean... At the end of the day, they are my friends. And they've been my friends. When these people were just overall abandoning me and treating me horribly, <laughs> at the end of the day, they were there. And <sighs> I just, I can't stand the idea of all these people putting such work and love into the, their crafts, into their games, to their let's plays, all the stuff that they do just for this to happen, and this isn't going to be me talking about the petition again. So let's make this clear. This is me just saying that I hate the fa fact that these people are going to get hurt from this. Because at the end of the day, I love them. I love my friends. Despite them being my online friends, they're still my friends. And I would never trade them for anything else in the world. And I, if you guys are listening to this, just know that I'm there. No matter what happens, no matter who it happens to, all this, I'm gonna be there. If you guys need to talk, just because I love you. And <laughs> I guess I'm gonna end this here. Sorry for getting so emotional, it's just, at the end of the day, YouTube has been my home. And I would never trade this site away for anything. So, thank you. And God bless you. Goodbye.